I think it's important to come to CES from a marketing perspective because culture is being created by technology and if you're not aware of what's happening and participating in it and actually experiencing it, um, I think you're gonna miss, we're gonna miss a lot of opportunities. So we bring a group of folks down here every year to really like immerse ourselves into it and really understand what is leading in culture. Because when we go back, our brands have to be, not only thinking about the technology, but where its culture is going, and this is the perfect place for us to actually really feel it, experience it, and then take it back and apply it to all of our marketing plans. At CES this year, I'm really excited to see what technology the companies are showing. And unsurprising, AI and autonomous have come front and center. I think it's really great and interesting as AI starts to become more and more part of everyday conversation and sort of in the fabric of who we are in the world, that we give examples of AI for good to show that it's not this scary technology that will, you know, robots will rise up and kill you in your sleep, but that there is some really good that's coming of it. When I think about um, technology in the kitchen, for instance, um, how a microwave is going to be talking to you, or a refrigerator is going to be talking to my phone, is going to be talking to my whole house, is something that's extremely intriguing for me because all of that data, all of the opportunities for us to figure out how do we insert ourselves in people's life in a valuable way, it's all connected now. If you think back to you know, earlier times, our company's been around for 150 years, voice is actually, and in, in hearing and in, in audio was a big part of how we built our brands. Over the last 20, 30 years, we've probably gotten away from that as video is kind of everything. And so really thinking about how we need to build um, an audio kind of brand strategy has become something we took last year and started to apply it to a couple of brands. This year with how fast it's moving um, in, in, terms of, in terms of voice, like if we don't have that as part of our brand strategies, we're gonna be missing the boat. So it's moved from, do we have a, another line in our media plan around radio or, or you know, that we feel good about to what is our audio brand identity and how are we thinking about getting to places where the consumer is in all of the different touch points and how voice you can actually interact with you know, technology to get something that you want. We actually have some video uh, advertising in market right now that's performing quite well um, against our uh, business uh, buyer personas. Um, we also have, you know, of course, uh, the use of AI, and that's becoming, you know, a kind of a crawl, walk, run. Using that more and more in some of our email and our web work uh, to do a better ad targeting and things like that. I think in 2019, Intel is looking at showing the technology, showing that AI isn't this scary thing, but that there are real world workloads and applications that are helping different industries, people, animals, etc. Looking at the consumer journey, if we don't think about the holistic experience as marketers, we're going to be missing out on massive opportunities for getting more loyalty, um, acquiring new people into the business, thinking about data and how all that's going to influence different decisions down the line. Um, and so planning that way has become, you know, around the experience is actually I think becomes what every marketer has to do in the future. My sense is that most companies are at different levels of maturity. I mean, there's an awful lot of technology out there, um, you know, 5,000 plus MarTech vendors. And I think you always have to remember to uh, focus your efforts around the customer and leverage those technologies as appropriate. So um, I think there's a lot of good work being done out there. I know we are also, uh, you know, changing the game internally. We just went through a big digitalization of the function for marketing in North America. Uh, we launched a brand new web uh, about 10 months ago. And uh, we're really excited about being able to uh, you know, pr uh, provide a better user experience. And I think at the end of the day, that's really what all that tech is helping us do. 